Now, let's study the most basic differential equation, but also the most important one, because this will literally be the basis of all the equations that we'll study. So without further ado, let's try to solve y prime equals 2y, and then y of 0 equals 3. And already at the outset, I want to give you a very cool application of this. So this actually models the population of bacteria. So basically, the growth rate. Rate of bacteria. Bacteria. Because essentially what this says is, the more bacteria there are, so the bigger Y is, the bigger the rate of change. So essentially bacteria, they multiply so quickly that uh, it's modeled by this differential equation, that the rate of change is two times the number of bacteria. And this Y of zero equals three means initially there are only three bacteria within 3,000 or even 3 million. Now, I do want to say we will find a more efficient way of solving it, but let's just solve it using first principles. So the first thing is to put everything on the left side. So if you have y prime equals 2y, we can divide by y, and we get it. And then it turns out the left-hand side is a hidden derivative. So it's a derivative of a certain function. So if you think, let's say, 1 over x, which function has derivative of 1 over x, then hopefully ln comes to mind. So ln degenerates. And in fact, the left-hand side is just the derivative of ln of y. So ln of y prime equals 2. Except remember, for 1 over x, we need to put ln of absolute value. So here, in fact, we get ln of absolute value of y prime equals 2. And the nice thing is, this will allow us to solve for y by integrating an exponential. So if the derivative of this mystery function is 2, then that mystery function is integral of 2 dt, which becomes 2t plus c. And then we'll be able to solve for y. So exponentiating, we get absolute value of y is e to the 2t plus c, which is the same thing as e to the c e to the 2t. And then last but not least, we then get y is plus minus e to the c times e to the 2t. Now, this is something that seems weird the first time, but we'll do so much of this in the remainder of the course, namely, well, plus or minus e to the c is really just an arbitrary constant. If c can be anything, then plus or minus e to the c can be anything as well. So we'll just replace this by c, simply saying this is an arbitrary constant. And then in the end, what we get is that a function y of t is c e to the 2t. So an exponential function. We're almost done. Well, we still need to solve for C using the uh, initial condition. So this is very typical in ODE. Usually you have what's called the general solution where there's a constant and then you use the initial condition to solve for it. So now we have Y of zero equals three. So C e to the 2 times 0 equals 3. So essentially, c equals 3. And finally, 
we do get our solution y of t equals 3e to the 2t. Let's put a beautiful box. That's what we have. That's all she wrote. Now, the cool thing is, because this is an applied math course, we can actually interpret this in terms of our model, because we said this models bacteria growth. So really, the interpretation is, if we use this model, the population of bacteria grows exponentially. Exponential. Because it makes sense, the bigger the number of bacteria, the faster the growth. So there's sort of a popcorn effect where the bacteria will just grow, 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 get bigger, get bigger at a faster rate. Well, this should suggest exponential growth. And if you want to draw what this looks like, you then get the following. Well, we saw that initially the bacteria population is three. But then it just becomes it's wee. So this is why it's 3e e to the 2t. And in fact, there's nothing really special about this number 2 or this number 3. So one thing to remember, and again, you're welcome to just do it directly from now on. So it turns out, important fact, the general solution solution to y prime equals ky. So instead of two, we have k is simply y of t is c e to the k t. So please, from now on, when you see y prime equals ky, just go to c e to the kt. You do not need to repeat the derivation above. That was just for us to see how we can actually solve it. And not only that, notice in this y of t equals 3 e to the 2t, this 3 was the initial condition. This is not a coincidence. This will always be true for this differential equation. So the significance of C. So in fact, here, C is in fact Y of zero, which is the initial population. Again, this will not always be true for all our differential equations, but it is true in this case.